He was so uh, close to getting fucking signed up, and then he went and read his stuff before signing it. <laughs> All right, well, um, and read his contracts before he signed them. Clever man. Uh, I guess I'll just go and show him um, places of note the white doves. Show him what, well, the golden waffle takes you to. Uh, it's like imagine uh, where three streets kind of come together, and in the middle of the three streets is a kind of an awkward shaped triangle that's a fairly decent sized property, and there's a shitload of construction going on in it. And it looks like just a bunch of dudes are working really hard and building something. So it's just a roundabout, but a triangle. What? I think that's what's called a roundabout, where it's a circle and there's like a few different entrances. Round, if it was circular, it would definitely be a roundabout. Uh, I'm not sure on the triangle one because it's harder to go in a circle on a triangle unless you're drunk. Then you can still make it work. This is the future golden wattle, also known as the former white dove. It's going to be an officer's club in the future and also a little base for us to come and relax when we need to. As Freddie said, yet, that. It, shows, it shows the scene shift. It shows the place on fire and Freddie uh, yelling to the uh, two other people, I didn't do it! I didn't do it! And it shows like people throwing themselves out of windows and stuff. <laughs> Sounds amazing. But yeah, maybe in a few months when this place is done, you can come by and check it out. Um, by the way, if you have any, if you need any magic items, guns, uh, I know a guy. I know mm, magic knives. Uh, do you have gold on you? Not anymore. You said broke ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I can go and show you where the magic store is. So All right. You know one thing. No problem. Uh, they have an ass load of stuff for sale here. One disturbing thing that they sell here is slaves. You can buy a fucking kid. You can buy sex slaves. You can buy a trained butler. Uh, you can all the way up to a golem. You can buy a golem slave, you know, mechanical man type thing. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of neat shit. If you had any money, you don't. But Freddy just cruises around on his motorcycle. Yeah, I'm basically, I'm basically doing the tour guide thing. And here to the left of us, we have blah, blah, blah. And then to the right, we have blah, blah, blah. How are you supposed to leave Slack? Uh, two E's. It's oh, on your right. insanity feed as well. There you go. Thank you. I was just reading things for that I have an ID in Gothic. He's like, oh, the sleep sack place is called Boris. Boris. There you go. Oh, Boris. I thought it was the B. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Um, you notice that they have a lot of old world stuff for sale, like compound bows and shit like that. They sell those here. Um, it looks like at one point this place was a lot more technologically innovative. They had a lot of higher tech. Like over there, you can see like old computer uh, motherboards and stuff that have been worked into some sort of art, you know, where they uh, put holes in them and then made them into some sort of weird art and stuff like that. Just weird shit. So it's sort of like Fallout. Uh, past Fallout. After Fallout, and people rebuild a lot more. All right. So you yeah. see Freddy uh, in, in a rage about what's been done to the motherboards and such. Yeah, because you're a tech wizard, pretty much. Yes, the tech wizard with no laptop. <laughs> Uh, they, you see, you pass a place that's selling uh, fuck the elves swords. Uh, they're quite expensive. They're advertised at three gold, and it's guaranteed to to put any elf into quite a lot of hurt who even touches it. Okay, so um, all right. So a bit of question from last mission where I kind of bugged out. 
or sorry, mm-hmm. a bit after that. When you when we peed on the portal. Oh, or, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened after that? We went to Twilight Kingdoms. What? Was you there with us? Yeah, I was there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we were in the depressing sewers or whatever it was called. It's pointing with <laughs> That's an even better name, though. <laughs> <laughs> the sewers got called the sewers of disappointment because uh, they're really super confusing and the PCs mm-hmm. are super bad at mapping. And then they keep going around the same routes that they'd already discovered, thinking that there was nothing else in there. And then they they became convinced there was nothing else in there until somebody got in there and did some good mapping, and they discovered all kinds of neat shit, and this disappointed the other people. Yeah, but basically we touched it, and then we went through, and we ended up in Twilight Kingdoms where we found the dead body with the message. Yeah, and then I and some other stuff. Yeah. Two quarks and a bone. Yeah. You notice that a lot of the stuff here seems to be working on some sort of magic crystal technology where they have like uh, crystals. Like you've seen those people that are like the magic, the healing magic crystals, that kind of bullshit. Yeah. But they stick them into items and then they power off of that. So. Oh. Oh, I know who I want to introduce him to. Uh oh. Hey, uh, Vince. There's a very lovely lady, Professor Ainsworth. She's a. Can I introduce him to her? What kind of cruel uh, shit is going on in your brain? Oh, uh, just want to say hi. Nope. She's still pissed about what happened before. Oh, I'm not going there. He is. Care to explain, Freddy? Do you think he'll come out? I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, Tell you, uh, tell me about her. Well, basically, she was tossed by, well, indirectly by Raslin to Raslin Rad. Never met I'm him. Heard of him. Hmm. What do you mean you've never heard of Raslin Rad? Everyone knows Raslin Rad. He is the greatest entrepreneur in the universe. The greatest hero? Entrepreneur. Businessman. But basically, she was uh, tasked with figuring out how to take one magic item from another zone, try them, a bag of holding, and making it work with Chris. She did that to an extent, but in order to do so, you had to kill these cute, adorable little creatures called cinderpoles, and had to smush them against the magical items, and then they'd stick together. So what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> I think you two will get along really well. You, you might want to just take them to safe stuff so I don't have to figure yeah. out a bunch of combat and shit for a while, you know? Uh, let, let's say to the <laughs> great young dude. Introduce him to him. Ah, no problem. It takes you to a really kind of piece together potion shop looks like it was made out of scrap parts and it blown up and then made out of different scrap parts are you gonna choke to death from eating too fast nope Just, better not um, die i got nothing i got no nothing i can do i'm in a different country i don't know where to send the ambulance i just know you're do- dropping dead on the screen so don't die um, don't fuck with me so now. This is- this is okay, the I'm this. Bad. I think your son is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Awkward. Smiley face, smiley face. Dog. Yeah, smiley face, smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> he, he introduces you to some guy who has an Einstein like haircut. It's all fucking stuck out. And he's like, hello, hello, I'm Yandun, the great Yandun. I make potions. Are you a future customer? Yeah. Maybe right. okay, but potions that can restore your health and restore your magic. Hmm. Sounds neat. Uh, what are the base price? 
prices. Depends, uh, for big potions and small potions, are all different prices and such. The problem is, is that they don't tend to last very long, and so people buy one or two, discover that they've forgotten to use it, and it's already gone bad, and then they're all pissy. Hmm. I'm, I'm good for now. There's next to you. They're, they are lifesavers if you use them correctly. Mm -hmm. They're only a few silvers. I pull up my empty wallet. He looks at the tumbleweed that emerges and blows down the street and he says, ah, a new adventurer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck to you. And I find my findings, so be sure. I would recommend at some point buying sunglasses. Good day. He goes back inside. <laughs> I look at Freddy and I say, why do I need to buy sunglasses? When he looks at you, you can see his eyes are like starting to, looks like they're starting to fill up with black liquid. Eh. <laughs> Style. Style. <laughs> Card Freddy. Yeah. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> Style. Oh, I'm scared of all that. I'll play that. Is there any... Put your hand down, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think I'm going to be poisoned unless this is eye poisoning. You can never tell. I'm going to limit the activity. Of course I'll you can magic it. immunity. Could you read magical immunity to me? Oh, invertible to magic for the entire round if played at the beginning of the round. Ah. If you get the spell break card, that might be a good one for you and just get rid of anything bad because, you know, you have no doubt this will come back to bite you. Yeah, I'm not confronted. Since you failed your essence roll. Right. Is there anywhere else you'd like to take him because we are running uh, out? Where else have you been? Well, not been. Um, what about Burlington? Uh, probably a bad idea. Isn't it's it underwater. Is it like an uh, actual town in Delaware? I don't know. All right. Hmm. I remember doing some social studies on that. All right. Uh, Work. yeah, but any any place you haven't been to, so you can get your talent card. I'll take you there. We could we could hit one more place. I give them a little description of it, and then end. Yeah. What about MMO? Oh. I haven't been there. Uh, yeah, I know a safe place. Well, safe -ish. Safe? <laughs> and... Mm, Alright, so, Cyberpunk? No, wait, no, not Cyberpunk. Um... Oh, I'll take him to Genovia. Yeah. Uh, Genovia? Have you been to Genovia before? No, not that I know of. Wow. Okay. Here's That's new... In the, the yeah, I'm glad you're keeping track of where all you've been, because it's super important. Your new tarot cards for Genovia are that and, wow, this would just totally show your fortune normally. Hey, so make a note of those. And... So Judgment and uh, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords and Judgment, yep. Or is that nine? Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, eight of swords and judgment. Melwix. Uh, wait, is it Melwix or Hikai you take him to? Hikai. I mean, this yeah. is yeah. No problem. Uh, you guys uh, head on in. Uh, nobody's got any obvious weapons other than knives, right? No. Mine's pocketed, so. Cool. Yeah, they actually don't seem to mind his uh, little fucking knives that he has because he just has small ass throwing knives. You got the D4 ones, yeah? D4 damage ones? D6. He has big, those, do you know how big those, th they're almost a short sword. Really? Yeah. For the small ones, they're D4, but I'd recommend the small ones because D6 knife is like, a. do you know what a kukri is? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. A kukri is a, it's almost a small sword. It's like a curved blade, I believe. That's right. 
Yes, it, it's about. Yeah. That's a D6 knife. So I recommend going with D4 uh, knives because A, they're legal. B, easy to hide. All right. D4s they are. Yeah. Now your your flying knife, that just does D6. It's a little bit bigger, but it looks like a shitty kitchen knife for whatever reason. Jokes on them. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's he caught itself when you guys go in is uh you see them they're peace bonding uh other people's weapons you know what peace bonding is isn't that like merging not exactly they what they do is while it's in the scabbard they tie a bunch of uh rope and stuff to it and then put wax seals on it so that if you cut the ropes or get it off of there then it breaks the wax seals and they go aha he took out his sword at some point and then you probably get blamed for murder or something he caught itself is a bit gr uh, grimy and dirty. There's a, it's another seaside place that he's taking you to. There's a sh uh, sharp tang of salt and old fish in the air. A uh, lot of smelly people in nautical clothing. Uh, definitely a port city. Everybody here seems very focused and uh, in a hurry to get their work done. Here they have, uh, it looks like different guards. They have, uh, uh, blue it's a big blue plus sign on a darker blue background with a gold anchor in the middle and those guys do not seem to be liked by the local people and they're wandering around they're the only ones with weapons except for like little knives because like i said nobody gives a shit about your little knife and it looks like uh uh they're going around and harassing people and you know what's in that basket uh, take a carrot from the stand what you're going to do about it type thing so they seem to be the assholes here the, um, assholes. the like, town yeah. itself is dirty and grimy he drives you around or actually wait you're on the motorcycle thing here let's see how that works out since you oh well no if we jumped i can't take that oh way. that's right i would have driven it back and then jumped him there on foot got it no problem. You guys are just wandering around on foot. Yeah. Um, it looks as though uh, they've got uh, cowboy uh, weapons seem to be about the highest tech that they have here. Uh, they, In fact, they have very much the same kind of rifles and stuff as you can see in uh, uh, the furry place where everybody's got the animal heads. Yeah, the same kind of weapons and clothes. The clothes, though, here are more of the we're fancier we're not cowboys we're the people back east in the old days if you know what that looks like gotcha. your history is going to get really good playing this campaign <laughs> you'll be like looking up back east clothing <laughs> so uh, if you ever want to google it look up uh like illinois in the old west days because that was back east type place or virginia or something like that one of the 13 original states or colonies it Delaware was one of them I think. They, they also have uh, balloons and stuff. They don't have the uh, the fancy flashing light stuff here. Huh? Like steampunk balloons, like or like in the Victorian era, I think it was. Like the Very good knowing that. Uh, these are more like barrage balloons, like World War One, where sure. you know they have some asshole up there with like binoculars, like looking around and hoping not to die. Did you shoot down. <laughs> Yeah, I am. If they had biplanes, he'd be fucked, but they apparently haven't uh, got that yet. So, but it's a good way to see further. They also have black like, cannons and things like that here. Uh, but yeah, he takes you around. It looks like a pretty grimy dock city in which nobody is fucking happy. All right. Is there like a rich, uh, is this a monarchy or? Um, there used to be a monarchy until those guys gesturing without being too obvious. So, took over. Do they just came here or killed every police or whatever? They just took they over. They basically took over. Yeah, we we believe they killed the monarchy. Some of the children may have survived. We're not too sure, but these guys basically took over. And as you can tell, people aren't. Too fond of them. 
some other guy wandering by goes, not like when we had Princess Danny on the throne. He hurries off. Do you remember uh, Princess Danny? Yeah. Uh, hmm? Yeah, Tinley, um, he had fun with her. And then no. No. <laughs> bad things happened as a result of that. So, is, that when, is that when things just went downhill for uh, Galeria or whatever it is called? Hmm? Oh, is that when things start to go downhill or is there already? Uh, pretty much. I mean, it took a while, a long while, because no one bothered to do anything about it. And then this happened. Yeah, but that place over there is the munitions factory. That's owned by Rasslin Mad. Um, oh. He has some business to do with making munitions. Hopefully, he'll uh, be able to make some money for it. Got you. But yeah, this is the we call this place. Genovia, or some people call it Melwix, even though this particular city isn't Melwix. Melwix is a ways away from this city. That's the main kind of city of this region. You can hear a distant horn of a train. You can hear a distant train. Yeah, so, they use trains and stuff. What's the military force like? I kind of say that quietly. I think uh, you Quietly. Yeah. I've never really dealt with them, but they seem to be, I mean, you can see for yourself, they're fairly well armed, guns, rifles, but they're not like super soldiers. Something else that they have here is uh, they have the telegraph lines that are set up. Oh, mm. they have those, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have them in this case? Uh, it's a, it's a, looked. isn't Beastkin the one with uh, all the animal heads and all that? Yeah, basically, this zone and Beastkin are identical, except Beastkin is with animal heads. Gotcha. But they're very closely related. Hmm. Something Close. else that they have here that's interesting is um occasionally somebody will go by with like a tattoo on their forehead uh like l or something like that um there's a guy with no foot these are oh, these people like a uh, old rebellion like um like old militia or i have no idea who these people are Why did you go ask them? No, I can't. No, no that's you. I mean, that guy with the one foot seems harmless. Yeah, until he kicks me with his other. Um, that I'd like to see. <laughs> Falls over. Um, busier than a one-footed man in the ass-kicking competition. <laughs> you know. I don't want to be the person who is known as beating up a crippled or getting beaten up by a crippled. True, true. I wouldn't mind watching that. Also, in in this in this town of Hika, everybody seems to be human. Yeah. Unlike everyone, in, uh, gothic. There's no trolls or anything like that wandering around. All right, so it's race exclusive. Yeah, there's a lot of information on this stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, people here don't really wear swords and stuff like that. Uh, the only people who are armed are guards and stuff. You even have some guards like kind of look giving you the stink eye when they spot like your crisscross knives and stuff. They're looking at you like. Possible troublemaker. If anybody dies from a knife, we go kill him. You know, that kind of luck. All right, so let's leave here because I don't want to feel like a uh, victim. Sure. 
or not the victim, but the. I was gonna say, oh, the plus, victim in every zone. Before I forget, yeah, take this. I'm giving a trump of near the detective agency <coughs> and what? Neat. All right. Trump the detective agency. Nearby, yes. Yeah, so you can that clear that uh, it's nearby, and also make a note of who get who uh, painted it, which in this case is Freddie. Yeah. All right. It's important, important to know it's near the detective agency because he mistakenly made ones in the detective agency. Yeah. Because he's like, I go where I want. <laughs> which he discovered later was a bad idea. Why was it a bad idea? Because imagine going into a building and a bunch of people seeing a hologram and then three people step through. How would you think they'd react? No, um, yeah, pretty much. All right. So, uh, before we uh, leave, is there any spells that you want to teach me? Is there any spells you want to learn? Uh, what are you interested in? What spells do you know? Uh, I know air magic, body magic, earth, empathy, fire, space and time, uh, meta magic. Notification, pocket, tech magic, uh, and and water magic. All right, I want to learn. Uh, but yeah, not good at all of them. So. Yeah, what's pocket m magic exactly? Where you just shove something up your? Well, the shoving it up is optional, but yeah. Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind learning pocket magic. Sure. Good choice. Are you wanting to try to teach him here? No. Oh. Yeah, no. Back to Gothic and do it there. No problem. We'll we'll end you guys out uh, with a little brief magic class in Gothic where he yeah. utterly fails to teach you anything. Go ahead and give oh, it and a... after, after we're done with that, I just want to like, drop off his cards at the embassy. Oh, good call. All right. So, uh, let's see. In Gothic, the magic paradigm is currently at five. five. I always like to check because stuff is changing. Uh, well, teaching first. Good luck. Um, do I have any skill cards? Um, I, skill I have a do you have any? Precisely. Oh, I have a I have a skill set as well, it's fine. I'll use mine. I right. have a Vivo as well, so I can try it. Yeah. Alright, so plus 10 on top of this. Alright, so uh, it's plus 20? No, you well, as well as the system. Mine's just... Yeah, yeah maybe it's in Willpower. <laughs> yeah, willpower. You're probably going to make the willpower, to be fair. Well, yeah. Damn, yeah. Oh, Freddy's stats are really good. Tell him how many fucking uh, Spark of Divinities you fucking had, Freddy. Uh, I believe 13. What, what are Sparking Divinities? Or... The Spark of Divinity card. Oh, Divinity. Each time you get it, you just add one to one of your stats. Ooh. Can yeah. you trade me that? Skill uh, 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that. Cool, I'll play the skill 10 and pocket soul trick. Good luck. Got this. No. So, I'll play my B-roll. Yay, do you have another and skill I'll, card? I have a skill 5, so I'll put that on top. Okay, go for 44 or less. You've got this, Freddy. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Holy shit. Hey, yeah. Uh, let's see. It's if you'd like a cleaner, uh, the one he teaches you is skill or is a uh, sword trick, which is the first level spell. Um, I learned 10. I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, that's fine. To copy paste. No, is it all these swords? Yes. yes. 
later you can get other weapons but here's a huge wall of text you will want to scroll up a few times oh jeez. well it's the a lot of the stuff that's in there is also like general stuff for the uh, uh tree oh and there's a little bit more i forgot to give you i'm sorry as a little bit more just a little bit more there you go okay so copy paste all that shit. it's also on the uh boards and stuff because it's like uh this is how the entire tree works notes as well as you can see it's not a quick spell but then i'll take them back to the embassy uh, and turn in the yeah, card. They, yeah cool yeah, it's a nice uh, yeah, little just... guided tour. Uh, I'm not going to do a full refill or anything, but I'll tell you what, I'll give everybody two cards. It's a zero hero point uh, mission and stuff, but who knows, maybe you'll get lucky on your two cards and pull a fucking victory or something. So two cards? Sure. And then you can skill up any skills that you got. I didn't do any skills. I got player's choice. Plus one hero. Give you a fucking hero point. Yeah, that's a perfect card to get. Yeah. Apparently, going around a very brief tour has paid off for you. Freddie, did you get anything good? All right. Hey, now, Matt. I have 21 Matt. points. Does that go overboard? Yeah. Uh, you you take off. You you The most you can get to, uh, you get the Iron Matt card. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, most you can, the most hero points you can get to is 20. Anything over that you get goes into your overflow. Overflow never goes down. You can't take points out of overflow, but keep close track of it because when you get to 50 overflow, which takes a fucking while, you get a cool new power. All right. I just need 49 in overflow. Yeah. And then you'll be golden. All right. Is there um, any, is there any roll at all? Or? No, it's okay. Well, I mean, what? No, no. You're, you're okay. done. But it was a nice session. You got to show them a couple of uh, new zones. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's there's a lot of different places and stuff. Uh, yeah. There's a lot uh, to go and see and do and explore and shit like that. So send, you me, hmm? send me your tarot card on Facebook. All right. And well, I'll you. post them on the board. Give me one more second. Yeah, send them to them via old people communications thing. Yay! You know, I couldn't figure out how to whisper earlier, so I just sent you a Facebook message, uh, Logan. You did? I don't yeah. even. I, I don't have Facebook open during the game normally. Yeah, it's nothing important, but okay. Yeah, I see. Uh, real quick, uh, do you guys have any ideas for the title of the uh, game? I spy a book. He whipped that one out quick. I, I have one, but it's too long. Um, it's like snap. Well, the real kind of please stand up. But it's too long. True. Um, multiple Kinleys. Um, mm. uh, one is enough. True. One is enough. I can see that. Oh, one is yeah. Yeah. Actually, that works. Okay. One is enough. That'll be a good title. Rocking. Okay. Um, let's see. Vince, what have you got to say to the studio audience? I'm the new Desperado. <laughs> cool. Ready? It's been a pleasure. I'll see you all next season. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Good game.